Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, we're going to pick up where we left off last time with Google Sheets in Python. So the last time I talked about basically how to connect to the spreadsheet and view the values in the spreadsheet. Now I'm going to talk about how to get specific cells and how to update those cells. So right now I have this spreadsheet and it just has two columns and there's nothing in it. So what I'll do is I'll simply put like the name of whatever the cell is somewhere in the cell. So like this is a two, this is a, or B two, this is a three, and this is B three. And the reason why I'm doing that, is so it will be easy to see it in the code or in the print statement output. So I'll take the code that I ran from last time and I'll comment out the things that I don't need anymore. So I don't need to delete, I don't need to get all the records, and I don't need to append anything. So what I want to do is I first want to get the value of B1. So I can do that in a couple of ways. I can use something called A cell. So I'll take that worksheet variable here, WKS, and I'll use print WKS dot A cell, and I can pass in the exact cell it's in. So a2, for example, will give me column A, row 2. So if I save that and run it, print example.py, I get this cell object, and we see here that it says this is A2. If I want to do it in a different way, then what I can do is I can use the worksheet again. And instead of using a cell, I'll just use cell and I'll pass in the row and the column value. So in this case, the row is row two and the column is column one. So row two, column one. So I'll do that. I'll comment out the first one and I'll run that again. And it shows me the exact same thing. So I was able to get the same cell in the same, the same cell using a different technique. I can use either a cell or cell. And if I want to get the value, then I simply use value on the cell object like that. And it gives me the direct value. And I can also see the, the rows and the columns. So if I do call, instead of value, then it's going to return to me exactly what I pass in for the column. So the second value one, so I get one here. If I type in row, then the row is going to be two. So that should make sense. So it starts off as a cell object and inside of that cell object are three things. You have a row, you have a column, and you have the value. So now let's say you want to update the value of a particular row. Well, it's actually pretty simple. You just modify that value on the cell. So I'll print this and I'm going to use something called update cell and update a cell. So as you can imagine, this is going to use either the letter and number way of finding the cell, or I can use the row in the column. So if I want to update, let's say B2, I can take the worksheet and update underscore a cell B2. And then I'll pass in a value. So that value that I want to pass in is new value for B2. So I'll save that. I'll run it. And then I'll look at my spreadsheet. And this value for B2 is now this value for B2. So instead of saying this is B2, it says this value for B2. If I change this to something else, a completely different value for B2, and I run it, then we'll see it gets updated here for me. So as you can imagine, it's the same thing for update cell, but instead of passing in B2, I can pass in the row and the column. So in this case, let's say the row, I want row three, and the column, I want the second column. So the third row, second column, and then a new value. So new value for B3. Save that, 
and run it again. And we see that new value for B3 is now in B3. And I was able to do that because I referenced the row and then the column. So now let's say I want to find multiple cells that have the same value. So all these cells have different values. But what if I added some cells in here with uh, different values? So I'll just say um, test, 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 test. So I have four four cells with the same value. So the first thing I can do is I can first look for a specific value, something that's unique. So let's say this is A3. If I wanted to do that, what I would do is I would print and then I'd say worksheet find and then this is, what did I want, A2? Let's do A3. Then if I run this, we'll see it gives me the cell object. And remember, I can get the value, the row, and the column from the cell object. And here it's formatted nicely for me. But you see here, this is A3 is exactly the value. But what if I wanted to search for things that aren't unique? So in this case, I use test. Let's see what happens. It gives me one cell, but that's not right because I have multiple cells. I have four cells with the value of test, not just one. So in a case when you know that the cell value won't be unique, then you can use find all instead of find. So if I do find all and then run it, I see one, two, three, four cells here. So let me make that easier to see. I see four cells and these are four cell objects. So now if I wanted to update these, I can just take this list and update each individual cell in the list. So what I'll do is I'll call this list of cells. And then I'll take the third one. So list of cells, index two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply modify one of the values of that. So let's say value equals new value. And then I'll take that entire list and I will pass it to something called update cells, which takes in a list of cells. So worksheet, then update, whoops, update cells, list of cells. And what it's going to do here is it's first going to find all the cells that have the value test. Then it's going to take the one with the index of two, so the third cell, and update it to new value. And then it's going to pass that list of cells and update all the cells. And if it finds a change, it will update. So let's run this. And then take a look. And we see here, this is no longer test, it is new value. So if I wanted to update everything at once, then it becomes fairly straightforward. You just use a loop. So instead of using this here, I'm, I'll put this inside of a loop. So let me get rid of that. And well, I'll comment it out instead. Okay, so what I'll do is for cell in list of cells, I'm going to take that cell and change the value to looped value. And then this is updating the cell inside the list. So this list will now contain all of the updated values and now update all the cells that way. So if I run this, I should now see looped value for those three there. And it looks like it got rid of my test one for some reason. Let's see. I have the, uh, the old new value here, right? So this was the old test value. So let's try that again. This should do nothing, just make sure. If I go back here, I see loop value. And if I change this to something else, looped something else, I get an error because it doesn't find anything. So that's exactly what I want. So when you're doing this, you just have to be a bit careful with uh, how you're updating things. But 
presumably you would know what you want to update when you go to update it. So I hope this video helped. Uh, if you have any questions about using G spread, then you can leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer it. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you next time.